Warrior. Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. How's everybody doing, guys? Today we're making German chocolate cake, and I couldn't be more excited. Christy Fowler, welcome. Nicole Stucco, welcome. Hey, Miss B, hello. How's everybody doing today? As you come in, remember to give a thumbs up. Welcome, welcome, Andre, welcome. Maddie Watts, hello. D'Angela, hello, Saj, hey. Shirley Clark, welcome. Paula Jackson, hello. Alyssa Wooten, hey. Christine Brown, Michael the Gamer, welcome. McKaylee, Sonia, how you doing? Latasha Hunter, Denise Billups, Judith, hello. Brenda Willis, Gina Sop, it's Gina Bop, welcome. Alfreda, Kate Alexander, Yeezy, hello. Jean and Penny and Laverne, hello. Carmen, or I don't know how to say that name. Erka, Erka Hughes, welcome. B. Smith, hello, hello. If I miss your name as we're coming in, welcome. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. We are making cake. Cake again, cake for the second time. So the first cake that we made the other day, um, we had a delicious uh, coconut cake. So today we're gonna be making German chocolate cake. J. Mo, welcome, India. Drew Moss, hello. How you doing, Drew? Shout out to Drew Moss. Can I get a shout out? Shout out to Drew Moss. <laughs> Charlene Bell, G. Hughes, hey, you're finally here. Nancy, welcome, welcome. Trina, I think that's the name. K. Coffee, welcome. Natalie, Tamikia, hello. Linda, Terry Williams, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Happy hump day. It's hump day. Are you guys all excited? Gina, did you get my email? No? I'm gonna look at it now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see, Ron. Let's see what Ron is talking about. Oh, beautiful flowers, my goodness. Wow, they are gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> gorgeous flowers, I love it. Valencia, welcome. You know, you got that same bush. That bush that's turning a little brown all three of my bushes that I have like that is turning brown too. So there's something eating those bushes. I don't know what it is. What, how beautiful, the flowers are gorgeous. My goodness. Oh, I love it. I love the colors too. Shirley Clark, welcome. Oh, it's 95 degrees there, Sonia. Oh, how you doing today? Linda Gardner, welcome Emma, hello. If you are in the heat, please do all you can to stay safe. Keep your family and your pets safe. Kicking it with Donna, welcome, welcome. T. Smith, Erica Parks, hello. Oh, you're not ready for the heat wave. My goodness. This, this heat, y'all. Gina, I sent you an email saying you are appreciated. Did you get it? Charlene Bell. Um, uh, let's see. If it's not on this email, then I haven't got it yet because I only looked on a certain email. I have four different emails. Charlene Bell? No, Charlene, I'll have to look into my other account, <laughs> one of my other accounts to find your email, okay? But thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I do, I do. Shara, hello. My Holy King, welcome back. K Coffee, welcome, welcome. I think I said your name already. 
Hello, everybody. We're going to have a splendid evening. Today is Wednesday. We're making German chocolate cake. And it is from the box. But I tell you what, that baby going to be good. It is going to taste good. Going to taste good. And we're going to do something special to it to give it a little bit more oomph to it. Ayana, hello. Shirley Clark and Mildred, welcome. Alan, hello. Absolutely. Hello, guys. As you come in and you look up and you think or you remember that you didn't give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up to the live. Let's make sure that the people that are in here and the thumbs up is matching the whole time the live is open. Thomas Smith, welcome. Alan, how you doing today? Keep, what's your name? Let's see. Linda Gardner, hello. Sharon, welcome. Kimya, Kimya Bryant, welcome, welcome, welcome. Valencia, hey. Okay, everybody, it won't be too long. I'm going to jump in. I think I just saw Raymond in here. Welcome back. Does baking soda have to be added to banana bread mixture? Oh, what a great question. Let me look at my um, recipe real quick. So, okay, let's see. Gina Young, bread. Oh, what, what is it? Banana bread. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see. I'm going to answer that real quick for you. Okay, so let's go into it and look and see. There's the commercial. We don't want that. Okay. I'm going to answer you right now, Drew. Hopefully, I can help you out with that. Okay, so for my banana bread, three large bananas, very ripened, a half a teaspoon of salt, one stick of room temperature butter, banana or vanilla extract, one cup of chopped walnuts, a half a cup of chocolate chips, optional, uh, two large eggs, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So for my recipes, I have baking powder and baking soda, a half a teaspoon of both. But let me look at another one of my banana breads and see if that one has baking soda, I would say yes then, okay? So let's see what we got. You want, okay, hold on, Drew. Hopefully I can answer you. Yep, both of my recipes, I got a half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Hopefully that helps you out. I tell you what, Drew, if you decide to make my bread my ban I keep wanting to say bread pudding. If you decide to make my banana bread, it is so good. Oh, it's so good. Make yourself. Charlene, hello. Javette, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sasha says, I'm good, Drew. How about you? Erica Parks, hello, hello. All right, so what we're going to do... We're having a summer party August 12th. Oh, Alan, that sounds great. I'm going to go ahead and get my apron on so we can get started. If you're cooking with me today, turn your oven on 350. That's the temperature we're going to be making this cake. This cake is going to come together so quickly. Um, so now, uh, all depending on what type of box mix that you use of course you're going to use the ingredients that is on that they require on the back of the box which mine requires um a half a cup of vegetable oil three large eggs and it requires some water i can't remember i think it's like one and one fourth cups of water i'm going to put some vanilla extract in there and then i'm going to put some uh chocolate um, pudding into the mix to make it light, airy, and fluffy. And it just really does something special to the recipe. And of course, we have our coconut pecan icing. I will be making two nine inch round pans, and then we're gonna put icing in the middle, and we're gonna ice the sides and the top, and it's gonna be like a double layer. All right, if you're ready, say I'm ready, 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 Freddie. 
I'm going to get my apron on. Huh? It's in there. That sounds amazing. Oh, it's going to be amazing. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you how amazing it will be. Let me turn this down so I can make sure I'm putting my apron on right. There we go. Let's see, I think I can move it down a little bit. My Holy King says I'm ready to rock and roll. Hey Thomas, how you doing? Welcome back. All right, let me get my microphones and we're gonna have fun. As you look behind me, you're gonna see that the um, the shelves behind me right there, they are empty. We are cleaning and wiping down everything. And so it may look a little bare back there. See that? We're cleaning those shelves, wiping off everything, dusting everything in the house. And so um, you may see some things out of order. <laughs> and when we get it wiped off, we'll get it back up there. Zadi, welcome. Oh, the puppy is chilling. Yes. They are. They're relaxing. They just had some cheese. And they had, let's see, they had chicken, cheese, and tomatoes. <laughs> they did. They did. They loved their meal. They ate it. And they are, they are. They're relaxing. They're chilling, just like you said. Hey, Kizzy, welcome in. So let's get started. All right. Now, if at all, if you want to make a homemade uh, German chocolate cake, absolutely you can, but y'all know me. I don't consider myself to be a, a baker baker, but I tell you what, I can, I can make a mean cake that comes out of the cake box, and that's what we're going to do today. Let's have fun. Nate Dog, you in here? Welcome back. Randolyn, hello. Penny, welcome. Okay, everybody, so let me wash my hands. I'm not going to be using a uh, stand-up mixer today. I'm just going to use uh, a handheld mixer. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. If you have not given a thumbs up, be sure to give a thumbs up. Tell your family and friends, Dee Dee Young is live. I put out an amazing recipe for you all on this channel and also on the Healthy channel. So for the Healthy channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina, I made, I showed you all how to make healthy, delicious lemon pepper wings that were absolutely amazing. And then I turned around on this channel and I made um, fried chicken sandwiches, fried chicken breast sandwiches that were so crispy so juicy, so delicious. So check that out as well. So now first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, 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 do. Let's open up our box just like so. We're gonna get all our ingredients in there. So this box calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil, one and one fourth cup of water, okay? I, there are some people that like to use milk if you're that person Absolutely, you can use milk at any time. Milk would be great. I just, I like to use water for my cake mixes. All right, come on in, y'all. Come on in, let's get that in there. Just like so, we're gonna put some vanilla in. I always like to put a little bit more vanilla extract in. All right, let's do it. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Somebody let me know, do you love German chocolate cake like we do here at the Young's House? Somebody, I thought it was cake coffee, 
somebody kept asking me, Gina, can you make the German chocolate cake? So here we are. We're here live in the flesh. We get ready making and it's gonna taste good. Look at, look at, look at, took it. Look at, took it just like so. Is Ron Wilson in here? Did I say hi to Ron? There you are. I see you. Oh, that's right. I spoke to you. You were the first one on here. That's right. All right, so now let me grab one and one fourths cup of water. When you're measuring, remember to look down this way as you can get an accurate reading, okay? Looking at it this way, your reading won't be right. It, it just won't be right. So I got some water here. And I only need one and one fourths of a cup. I need a little bit more. Uh, here we go. I actually think that's perfect. Okay. And then we're going to put our eggs in there. Three large eggs is what I'm going to use. Okay. I've got some eggs already out of my carton. Here they go. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome if you're just now coming into the chat. Love, love, love. German chocolate cake, says Sue. Oh, well, that's great. You're in for a treat then, Sue. All right, there's a beautiful egg there. Let's get another one. Normally, I take the egg and crack it into a separate bowl so we can make sure that our eggs are nice and fresh. Make sure we don't get any eggshells. I'm just going to be super careful. And I do know that the eggs are fresh. Okay, so now let's get our oven preheated 300 and 50 degrees. That's what we're going to cook this one, okay? And we got to take this out. Ooh. All right, oven is preheated. Have you ever tried it? Somebody let me know in the comment section, have you ever tried pudding in your cake mix. If you've never tried it, try it once. Try it once just to come back and let me know what you think. Just one packet. You don't need the big, you know how they have a really big pudding? You don't need that one. Just get the regular size one. Okay, and I'm using chocolate. Use any flavors that you like when you're baking a cake, but putting this pudding mix in there is a real game changer. And even the, my box says, the box says there's pudding in the mix. Well, I don't know about that, but we're going to really put some pudding in the mix, okay? So let's do it, just like so. How simple. All right, and then I'm using my handheld mixer today. I'm going to look at some messages before we begin to mix anything up. Make sure everybody's doing okay and see if anybody has a real serious question. If you have a serious question, I'll answer you. Angela York, welcome. Kalisha Bowman. Yes, you have. It makes it super moist. Okay, great. Okay, Miss B says, putting, putting in the mixture always. R. Thomas said, your favorite cake. Okay, okay. Thank you, G. Hughes. I'm guessing it adds to the flavor. It will add to the flavor, but more than anything, it makes it really moist, right? It makes it so moist and, and kind of light, airy, and fluffy. But you'll, you're going to get to see the consistency when we cut down into it, okay? You'll see the, uh, the difference in a regular cake and a cake that has, um, you know, the pudding in the inside. So let's go ahead. Okay, is that instant? Yes, great question. It is instant pudding. Yes, it is the instant. So I'm going to begin to move it around just like this, just for a quick second, okay? I'm heating up my oven 350. I'm going to begin turning this on. Okay, and I'm hoping it doesn't go flying all in my face. because when you're using one of these, sometimes everything just doesn't get well incorporated, you know? And you never want to overwork 
the uh, cake mix. Overworking the cake mix is just a disaster. You know, you'll have a, a cake that's flat, okay? So now let's go in and mix again. I wanna get some nice air into the eggs. It smells, it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. It does? Okay. I'm telling you one thing. I definitely, I definitely want to taste. I want to taste this. I don't know about you all, but I love cake batter. You can't stop me from loving cake batter. I've loved it since I was a kid. There are people that don't like me tasting cake batter, but I'm still here. Uh, mm. <laughs> mm. Let's go. Just let me lick the ball. I know, Raymond, right? So now let me show you what type of icing that you're going to need. Okay? Take a look. It is a coconut pecan icing. Okay? I like to get two. That's why in the community section, I told you go get two. Because when we stack a cake, sometimes one of those babies don't work. Unless you're making one flat cake, you know, if you're making an eight by 10 or nine by 12 or something, just a flat cake, one will work. But when you use um, two cakes stacked on top of each other and you gotta do the sides, the inside and the top, I get two, okay? So now, our cake mix tastes absolutely amazing, okay? We got the oven preheated. Did I? I think I put vanilla extract in. Did I put it in? I don't think so. I think I did. Yeah. I think I did. I, you can't trick me. I think I did. Taste it, Gina. Miss B says taste it. I did, but I'm going to taste it again. Thank you, Miss B. Thank you. You guys can taste it too. <laughs> um, nah. mm -hmm. Ooh -wee. Nate Dog says nothing wrong with tasting it better. Just don't give it. Oh, you're absolutely right. Don't give any to the dogs. You're right. So y'all, I have been having an issue where it's happening right now. My right eye has been, it, uh, not itchy. My right eye has been twitching. And it's like on the, uh, on the top eyelid and it's like, right? And, and it's like I can't control it. This has been happening for like a week now. Somebody look up what that means. My dad's eye, when my dad would get upset, my dad's eye used to twitch. Or he would do like this. He'd be sitting down and he'd be doing this with his fingers, you know, with his thumbs. And his eye would just be twitching if he was upset about something. I ain't upset about nothing, but I tell you what, I don't know why my, why is my eye twitching like that. <clears throat> I'm going to do this over the sink. I find when you use something that has oil in it <clears throat> and you're spraying it, do it in the sink. Because you don't want for the spray to get to the floor and you go slipping and sliding. It's actually happened to me. It has happened to me. So I'm going to do this over the sink. This is a oil that has flour in it, and it's for baking, okay? That way you don't have to put the flour on and shake the flour off, you know, in the oil. All right, so let's get this one done the same way. They just said, do you fill both cake pans up to the top? No, you don't. You fill both cake pans up. You never fill them up to the top, and guess what? What a great question. The purpose for not filling them up to the top is because they will uh, cook over. So what you do, since we know that a cake rises when it's cooking, you fill it half the way of the pan, no matter what kind of pan it is, even if it's a square pan. You fill it, if the cake, if the pan is this high, you fill it this much and it'll rise up to the top. Okay, so we, when you're doing this part right here that we're doing right now, try to make equal parts. Try your best to make, um, you know, 
equal amounts poured into each one if you can. Sometimes it's impossible, but uh, you can get the job done. Okay, so let's get started. And I want to use a soft spatula to assist me. The soft spatula is always going to be, a, uh, you know, assure you that you're going to be able to get as much of this cake mix out of the bowl. All right, so we're going to do it this way. Just like so, pouring it right in the middle. I'm going to put a little there, and I'm going to come over here, put a little here, and then if I need to take some from there, I'll do it. But we kind of want them to be even as possible. Equal amounts in both ones. Okay? So I feel like I need a little bit over here. <laughs> and a little bit over there. Hold on, guys. This, this can get heavy. Ooh-wee. It smells so good. Ooh. I'm excited for this recipe. I, I don't know if it was K-Coffee. Who was you in the chat that kept reminding me? And, and when you reminded me, I thought, oh, Lord, that's right. I need to make it. <laughs> so here I am, and I'm glad that I'm here making it for you. Okay. So we're good. And that right there, that's for us. If we want to lick it, I'm just going to set it aside for the time being. Let me wipe my hands off. But in the meantime, let's see how much we have. Do I need to put some, you know, into the other? So I want to smooth it around just a little bit. Okay. We're looking pretty good. I think my oven is preheated. Let me look at the amount that's in here. Oh, I could withstand a little bit more in this one. And, and so that's really how you have to look at it, okay? I want you to use, you know, your common sense. You can kind of tell that this one is much smaller, okay? So I'm gonna get a spoon, take a little bit out of here. All right, and right into there. And we're going to do what Grandma always told me to do. Hit that baby on the counter a couple times to get the air bubbles out. And it really does. You'll see where it takes air bubbles out. We're going to put this right into the oven just like so. Until they cook, we plan on cooking these for around about maybe 22 to 25 minutes. Okay, it may be a shorter time. Oven temperature varies. May, oven temperatures may vary. Your oven might cook a little slower than mine's. Mine's might cook a little slower than yours, you know. So there we're gonna knock it. I'm gonna get this extra <clears throat> cake off the side so that it does not burn. All right, and let's go, or let's see, is my oven preheated? Oven is preheated. These are going into the oven right about now. I got some extra oil on the side. I want to get off of there. I don't want that oil going on to my oven. <clears throat> Someone said, is there an ingredient you could add to cake mix to make more? Is there? Oh, okay. Well, to, is there an ingredient you can add to cake mix to make more? Tell me who's asking that question. I love to know who's asking the questions. Uh, Rhonda J. Yolanda, welcome in. Okay, uh, let's talk about it. Okay, let me tell you. <clears throat> we got our cakes in the oven, and those cakes are side by side. They're in the middle rack. There's a top rack. There's a bottom rack. I don't want your cake to go on the top. I don't want it to go on the bottom. Always in the middle where it can, it, it's just going to cook up perfectly, okay? And they're side by side, just like so. Okay, so let's set a timer for 22 minutes. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, and we'll go in and check it after uh, 22 minutes to see what we're looking like. Is there an ingredient that you could put in the cake to make more? I really wouldn't know that answer. I don't know, but I tell you what, if you want to make more, get another, get another box of cake. 
get another box of cake or um, if you're making you know a homemade recipe just double the recipe um, but that may be a question that you could ask Google Google it you know they'll 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 give you hey they'll tell you 101 different things that you could do to double your cake mix <laughs> they will you want to taste you want to taste you know you do you want to taste <laughs> Okay, oh my goodness, okay. Ah, mm -hmm. ah, mm. Oh, we that baby tastes good. Okay. Wanda McMorris is missing. Okay. How is everybody in the chat, says Tommy. Tommy Painter, welcome. Purple Love, hello. Debbie Parker. Oh, you said missing Debbie Parker. Okay. I know you can bake cookies in the air fryer, Nate. Oh. Your mother said if eyes jump like that, you're going to have... You're kidding me, Linda. Linda, tell me more about it. <laughs> tell me more. Okay, so my mother said if eyes jump like that, you're going to have luck. Well, I tell you what, that would be great. That would be great. Your mother's a smart lady. <laughs> she adds joy to chat even picking on me. Oh, purple love. Hey, Tommy Painter says, my friend bakes brownies in the air fryer that he has. Oh, how great. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So my holy king is saying Debbie Parker is missing. Well, we're praying that she's doing okay. The same thing when you when your hand itch. Someone say you're getting money. I now I've heard that my hand is itch. Uh, um, on the left, I've heard that they say if your hand is itching on the left on the left hand, you're getting money. I, I like all those sayings. <laughs> I'm here for it. Your favorite cake is yellow cake with chocolate icing. That's what my husband loves. My husband also likes um, a yellow cake or a white cake with cream cheese icing. But his favorite is the yellow cake with chocolate icing. Hands down, he loves it. Loving this German chocolate cake bake today. Thank you, Gina. Jackie, you're welcome. You hate chocolate cake. Okay, Raymond, we gotta talk about it. Let's talk about something. Okay, so, uh, Raymond, I'm always one of those people that says, I could do without chocolate. I could do without chocolate. I do like, if, if I had my choice to choose whether, you know, it was a yellow cake, a white cake, or chocolate, I'm always gonna choose white or yellow cake. I feel like, this is just my opinion, and y'all tell me if you feel the same way. German chocolate is different. German chocolate is different than just a chocolate cake. It is. And German chocolate cake mix is what I use when I make my better than anything cake. I feel like German chocolate cake tastes different than just a regular chocolate cake. What do y'all think? Do you feel the same way? Oh, okay, Shara says you miss me saying the same thing. Good luck, Gina. Thank you, Shara. I need it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I saw your crispy fried chicken video. Oh, Renee, great. Enjoy it. Okay, okay, so Tommy says, I heard the saying, if you itch your left palm of hand, that tells you you got money coming. Okay. Well, I'm waiting on my hand to start itching. When, listen. When my left hand start itching, my goodness. It, okay, Jackie, Jackie agrees. Jackie says, you're right, it does taste different. My whole, okay, Sasha so says, my holy king. Nope, I'm in this one. Come on with the question. What, what, are you, what are you guys talking about? I love chocolate cake, it's my favorite, says Lily. Lily, welcome. But you're right, Gina, about that though. German chocolate is different, says Zadi. There is a different taste. I love chocolate. They call it, oh, see, the devil's food cake is what I don't like. 
it's too chocolate. It's a real, real dark chocolate. That's not, that's not the kind of cake that I like. Now, when it comes to a cookie, my favorite cookie is the um, a sugar cookie. I will have, I will eat sugar cookies before I eat a chocolate chip cookie. I'm not a real fan. I'll eat chocolate, chocolate chip cookies and I'll enjoy them, right? But if you ask me which one is my favorite or if you offer me one, I'm going for the sugar cookie first. <laughs> they said, how do you make cake mix edible? How do you make what? Cake mix edible. Edible? How right. do you make what? Oh, ginger snaps, they are. What, what'd you say, how to make what? How to make a uh, cake mix edible without uh, baking it. How do you make cake mix edible without baking it? Oh, I don't know. That's definitely something. You gotta Google that. You gotta Google that. <laughs> oh, baked chocolate chip? Yeah. Nolita Porter, welcome. Your favorite cookie is the gender snap. I love a gender snap, but when I have a gender snap, it must be dipped in milk. I mean, I want that baby to get soggy. Not soggy. But I want the milk to really go into that ginger snap. The ginger snaps are hard. And then you taste it and you got that little bit of spice. I love a ginger snap. Now, I also like um, vanilla wafers. Growing up, hold on guys, growing up, my dad would eat vanilla wafers with milk. And that's where my love for vanilla wafers came in. Watching my dad eat vanilla wafers and he could eat a whole box. When I was younger, he could eat a whole box of vanilla wafers. Okay, Zadi says, yes, the ice cold milk. Ron says, Faith, Clee Movies, hi. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, so Yvonne says, make the strawberries on the chocolate cake. Oh, strawberries on chocolate cake is a good idea. That sounds great. You said, I've done it for customers, but never done it for myself. Yvonne, that sounds beautiful. Cause you're gonna get that tang from the strawberries, right? You are. And then you got that sweetness from the chocolate. The two will pair together very well. You're eating gender snaps right now. Linda, you better give me some. Mildred says, hey, it's a Nate dog. Saj, I want to charge a fee for making me repeat. <laughs> for making you repeat. <laughs> Who are you gonna charge? <laughs> Did I miss your message? <laughs> Give me a snickerdoodle uh, and you're good for a week. Um, I don't like snickerdoodles. I love cinnamon. I do. I love cinnamon, but I don't want it in my cookie like that. Not all of the cinnamon, because it's such a cinnamony, cinnamony, is that the word? It has so much cinnamon flavor that it kind of turns me off a little bit. I'm not a fan of snickerdoodles. Oh, Alyssa, that's interesting. So Alyssa says, vanilla wafers with peanut butter. That's interesting. It is. Okay, okay, so Miss V says, I got vanilla cookies over in the kitchen, and you're about to grab them right now. Yeah, y'all need to send me some cookies through, through the street. Okay, Renee says, I love butter pound cake with Cool Whip and strawberry. I do too. Oh, I love that. They said, can you make almond cookies with a different nut? Can you make almond cookies with a different nut? Well, you wouldn't call it that, but sure you can. You can use a, uh, sure, you can. Oh, you love cinnamon and it puts you in a good mood. Isn't it something? Well, I tell you what, when it comes to cinnamon, cinnamon will lower your, um, uh, what's it called? Uh... If you have diabetes, it will lower your, your sugar number. Um, cinnamon is known for that, I think, but I'm not, you know, a medical advisor. But I've heard somebody saying that putting a little bit of cinnamon in different things, like in your coffee, will help to do something with your sugar. <clears throat> yeah, purple love. I didn't know if it will lower the A1C because the A1C it's actually um, what they look at. It, it's it's going to check the number, how your sugars have been doing for a full year or a full six months. So I don't know how that would work, but I think it will just affect your number. But I'm, I'm guessing. I could totally be wrong. 
<coughs> Lynn Beal, welcome. Is it? What is that, my holy king? What is that? What is Dutch? You don't like chocolate cake, but you like chocolate cupcakes. That's funny. Oh, that's totally funny. Oatmeal cookies with that icing. Oh, those are the famous oatmeal cookies that we all remember, and they're a little chewy, right? Oh, split the veal. I, I was scared to ask. I was scared to ask what that was. I because I never know what y'all are gonna say. <laughs> okay, split the veal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's great. I think that my last A1C was 104. And I was so happy with the number. Like, my doctor was so excited. He was like, your number's better than mine. And I thought, yes. I mean, but I know it's not how I'm eating. I know that it's a definite, um, the medicine that I take. But I'm happy with that because I can tell you that, um, how many, there's my eye. My eye's doing it again. Oh, my goodness. Can y'all see it? This eye. <laughs> Something's that it's like my eye has its own mind. Chocolate cake. Okay, so Gina, chop. I never. You said chocolate coconut cake. I, I didn't. Chop. Chocolate coconut cake to me <laughs> is this German chocolate cake. I don't. Extra anchovies and sardines with the stack. Don't you do it. I had to read it too. Don't you do it, Ron. Don't you do that to me. Wipe that off if you got cake icing everywhere. Here, take this because I don't want to come over there and I got to set my arms in chocolate. Here, go ahead. Okay, Nail Rhodes, I'm trusting. I'm trusting in our good Lord. I'm trusting in what you guys are saying. And the good Lord has told me if we stand in agreement together, one or two of us stand in agreement together, he is in the midst of my eye twitching and getting good luck. It shall come to pass. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Drew Moss's question, do you wear glasses for your vision? Drew, it's getting to a point to where I think I'm going to need to. I think I'm going to need to because I have days where my vision is blurry. Um, and my sugar will be great. So, um, like when I go to read the Bible, I have to put glasses on to read because I can't read. I can't, I can't see a word. Right? But I throw on my glasses and it's like a miracle just happened. Right? So, that's what my eyes are doing right now, Drew. Rigo, <clears throat> Rigo, can I put anchovies and sardines? Don't you do it, Rigo. Oh, Lord, y'all done got Rigo started. He's a new subscriber. Rigo is a new subscriber. And the question is, can I put anchovies and sardines? That's a good question. Don't you do that to me. <laughs> he didn't join in with y'all. Oh, my goodness. Ron says, I agree with you. They say sugar affects your eyes. Oh, it does. Absolutely it does. Ron says, he got me started. <laughs> Christy, is that right, says K Coffee? Oh, Linda, thank you, yes. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Okay, somebody says, this is funny. Shara says, now Gina, is that the left eye or the right eye? They say it's going to be the right eye. It's my right eye. It's my right eye. It's this right eye. <laughs> How do we end up talking about anchovies on every chat? Angela, I don't know. Angela, I don't know. Angela, when I look at the comments sometimes, Angela, let's talk. Me and you are right here. When I look at the comments sometimes, 
you know, like naturally, I begin to read them out loud, and then you'll see me dissipate and not read the rest of their comments. I'm demanding not to read those comments out loud anymore. But sometimes when I'm naturally reading it, I read the whole thing out loud, and I'd be so upset that I read it. <laughs> I didn't know what their problem is. We got issues in this chat. <laughs> oh, okay. My Holy King says, Saj, if you were asked out on a date, do you expect to pay the bill? Oh, my goodness. Do you expect to pay the bill if you're asked out on a date? Well, if you're asked out on a date, I wouldn't, I mean, I would think that they were going to pay. I mean, I, I would think that they were going to pay. You know, unless they talked about otherwise, like unless when they said, let's go out and they said, okay, but when we go out, you pay your half and I pay my half. That would have to be a mutual agreement. Otherwise, I would assume you're going to pay. I'm just saying. Do they need to go pee pee? Take them out and, and stand out there with them because you know it's a fox. It's a fox in the yard. Okay, y'all, I'm going to come around and we're going to, the bride says, go touch. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now, okay, T. Smith says, I go alone or order in if I have to pay. <laughs> All right, let me see. I got just maybe about eight more minutes um, to go on this cake. And, um, but I'm going to come sit, sit in front of the camera. We can chit chat for that eight minutes and then we'll check our cake, see where we're going. And hopefully the cake is done and we can, cause see, I want to cool the cake down before icing it. Anytime you're making a cake, cool it down before putting the icing on. I got to close this back door. He didn't left. He left the back door open like we live in a barn. Did your parents ever say that? Close that door. You don't live in a barn. <laughs> I heard that so many times. Close that door. Your daddy ain't no glass maker. I heard that too. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Shaquita, hi, says Brian. Close that door, Dakota. You don't, you don't live in a barn. You don't live in a barnyard. Is both dogs in? Okay. Kizzy. Okay, Yvonne says, Kizzy, for some reason, cherry pie filling on chocolate doesn't sound good to my mind's ear. However, it's worth, oh, no, listen, let me tell you. Listen, listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you all this. This is exciting. So, a couple years back, I made, listen to me, y'all. I made a brownie, right? You know a brownie's chocolate, right? I made a brownie. I let the brownie cool down. I made it in one of those cake pans that I just used, the round nine inch cake pan. And then I took cheesecake, fill. listen to me. So you got a brownie that baked in a nine inch cake pan. It's round. And then I pour cheesecake filling on top of the brownie. Check me out, please listen. And then I put it in the refrigerator so the cheesecake filling could set up. Once the cheesecake filling set up, I put uh, uh, cherry pie filling on top. I called it cherry cordial cheesecake brownie. It was the best thing you ever had since sliced bread. Okay, so cherry pie filling and chocolate goes together amazing. And then put, your, put the cheesecake on top of the brown. Y'all, listen. When I made that recipe, that recipe, it, it was gone in a half an hour. Oh, your parents used to say you're not trying to cool the outside. Right. It does sound good, Christy, right? Oh, Shirley says, I love anything with coconut. Is that right? I like coconut. I feel that there's not a lot of people that are fans to coconut. But I like it. I like it. It does have, it's like an acquired taste because you got like that little grit you know, from coconut that you have to chew for a while. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, is Derek Eats in here? 
Oh, you are, Ron. Tell me all about it. So you're going to make that chicken sandwich? Okay, Yvonne says, oh, I'm sold. Thank you, Kizzy and Miss Gina. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, Nate. Okay, I don't like the texture of coconut, says Nate. Oh, okay. But I understand because there's so many people that they just don't like the texture of coconut. Okay. Oh, Valencia says, I don't like coconut. Oh, Tommy says, my grandfather used to tell me when I used to have the fridge door open, he says, pictures of change. Pictures? of change from the last time. I'm trying to understand that. I don't understand. Sarigo says, Drew, no, I don't. He's a cool dude. <laughs> I think you're talking about Derek Eads. <laughs> okay, so Derek's not in here. Okay. You love coconut, but don't like coconut water. Oh, coconut water, yeah. You really have to have an acquired taste. You have to grow up drinking it in order to understand what it's supposed to taste like. It, it can be real refreshing. It can be real refreshing. If it's cold, I can drink coconut water. If it's nice and cold, it tastes good. And you gotta be thirsty. <laughs> sea life, welcome in. Coconut tastes, coconut, <laughs> Tastes like sweet newspaper. <laughs> Coconut tastes like sweet newspaper. Wait, that's weird. I'm trying to process that. <laughs> oh, your favorite is the Almond Joy. Okay, 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 okay. Flavor coconut water is yummy. Oh, you don't like coconut water, yeah? I, I did. Thank you, Ron. He says, yes, she made lasagna rolls. I did. I did. And I tell you what, they were so easy. My timer went off. How about, I'm going to check the cake. When I check the cake, I'd like to tell you all, some of you already may know, but I'm going to take um, either a toothpick or a fork. I go into the cake, and when I pull my fork out, if there's no little pieces onto the fork, the cake is done. But if I pull the fork out and it's a little ooey gooey, maybe there's some pieces on the fork or your toothpick, and the cake ain't done, okay? So if it's ready, we're gonna take that baby out and get it nice and cooled down. And I'm gonna show you how I like to ice it. Help, oh, you like the healthy lemon chicken wings. Uh, the lemon pepper chicken wings was astonishing. It's keto, it's low carb, it was no salt. I know, but it was so flavorful. And you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything. They had so much flavor. So it's such a great recipe. And she's talking about the recipe that I put on the new channel today. Hey, we've been rocking and rolling. We got uh, two videos out and now we're here live. So hold on y'all, let me check my cake. What is that right now? Oh, it's for about three more minutes. And then I'm gonna run a butter knife along the side of it, and we're gonna flip our cakes out onto a uh, cookie sheet, okay? Yes, and we're gonna let them cool down. They won't take long to cool down. Cakes don't take long to cool, to cool down. But if you are in a rush, you can always put your cakes in the refrigerator to uh, cool them down quickly, okay? Yeah, Coke Adrian. Adrian, don't you fall in their trap. <laughs> Coconut newspaper must taste tasty. Don't you fall in their trap. It's it's all a trap. Adrian, don't you fall in their trap. Mildred is cracking up. What does sun? Oh, Raymond, great question. 
sun-dried tomatoes. Can you get them out for me in the refrigerator? Get them out. The sun-dried tomatoes in the back of the refrigerator on the left. Sun-dried tomatoes, Raymond, if you like tomatoes, okay? If you like tomatoes, I feel like you will like sun-dried tomatoes. So now, let me show you what one of them looks like. They do get rehydrated when you cook them, okay? I'm keeping these in my refrigerator. This is a sun-dried tomato. It's kind of like, uh, you can, can you see the consistency? It's kind of like gummy, not gummy. Um, it's kind of like, it's dried. It's a dried tomato. But I tell you what, mm, listen to me when I tell you this. They taste good. They taste like a tomato that has, well, how do I want to say it? It won't get smushy. You know how a fresh tomato will get smushy? These don't get smushy. They keep its integrity and they taste so good. Raymond, you, you have to try them one time just to say that you've tasted them and to say whether you like them or not. I love them. Okay, I'm taking my cake out right now. Okay, yeah, my cake is ready. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn that, the thing this way. way okay everyone so let me show you my cake I want the camera to come down into the cake so I can show them what I'm looking for so now we're going to take um, a butter knife go right along the edge come on and look in y'all Go right along just to make sure that our cake is not sticky. And literally in about five minutes, we're gonna flip that baby over. And you see how it did rise? Remember the person that was asking, how much do you pour in? We pour it in half the way of the pan and it rolls all the way up to the pan, okay? So if you were, I'll just repeat myself, if you were to fill it up all the way to the top, it would definitely boil over and it would be a mess. Always fill it half the way, okay? So one cake, one box cake mix will make two of these, all right? So now that I have that done, and you can see where I kind of tortured it a little bit with my fork, but I wanted to make sure that my cake was done. And when I poked the hole in with my fork, my fork came out nice and clean and I'm happy, right? So now I want to show you here, we'll give it about three more minutes. <clears throat> how I like to take these out and how I like to transfer them to um, just a cake pan. I'm sorry, a cookie sheet. I'm gonna do a number like this, right? And then I'm gonna flip it over real quick, okay? And then I typically like to use like um, a, a paper towel or a kitchen towel that has been wet with a little bit of cold water, okay, it's just to rub on the bottom of the pan so that the pan, so that the cake can release, you know, with no issues, okay? So I want to get another cookie sheet. They said if you flip it slow, the cake break. I'll just use this, huh? They said if you flip it slow, the cake break. Yeah, <laughs> great question. If you flip it slow, will your cake break? It's possible. It is possible, okay? Great tips, Gina. Well, thank you. Okay, so watch, watch, watch. We're gonna do it real quick. We're gonna do it real quick, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? Don't waste time. Wasting time, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? We gotta let it cool down. 
Let's do this one. This is just a cutting board because I couldn't reach all the way back there to get my, uh, to get my, what is it? My other cookie sheet. Flip. Don't waste time. We ain't got time to waste time. Okay. And I, I know some of you all were thinking in the beginning, seriously, that, oh, but remember I said I was going to take a wet towel. I like to put a cold wet towel or cold wet paper towel and do like this. Just to assure that my cake falls out with ease, because sometimes them cakes will get stuck in there and you will be so upset. It has happened to me many a time. Okay, so now let's just let it cool down. It's not going to take forever in a day. I promise you. Now, if you want to, we can throw this in the refrigerator and cool it down even quicker. I think that's what I'm going to do since I'm live, because y'all, I don't know how much time you got. So if I can make room in my refrigerator, we're going to put these in the fridge to cool them down. And then I'm going to show you how I like to ice the middle, the sides, and the top. And we're going to taste it together. Turn your oven off if you haven't done so. Here, let me just bring it close in. Come on in and show them. Drew, I can't wait. I think it was Drew. I can't wait to show you the inside of the cake and what the pudding will do to this cake. They said, have you ever made cake cookies? Cake cookies? I have. I have made the cake cookies. And one of my cake cookie recipes is my whoopie pies. I, I believe, don't quote me, but I think that I made my whoopie pies from a cake mix. And it, it was just like people went nuts over it. Right? They really did. They loved that whoopie pie. It was so soft and supple. I can't remember if it was pumpkin or if it was a spice cake mix. We made the cookies and then we filled them with icing. It was a, it was a big turnout. Everybody loved it. So it's a great question. Into the fridge we go. Hold on guys. I'm coming around. All right, the cakes are in the refrigerator. We're gonna cool it down. I'm gonna need that cake pan up there. You hear me? I'm gonna need you to wash it off, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, I will be using this offset spatula, is what they like to call it. If you don't have one of these, this is just gonna help to, uh, you know, spread the icing on there nice just like so. But I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. Because a soft spatula will do the same thing. And if you ain't got a, spatch, a soft spatula, use the back of a spoon. Okay? Or a butter knife. But sometimes a butter knife can tear your cake. Okay? So, uh, this is all exciting. We're going to be doing something special with this parchment paper. So, I want to tear off four pieces of the parchment paper. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm going to show you something really special that we're going to do with the parchment paper so that we don't get icing all over everything, okay? But we need four pieces. Just tear it. it, it it's going to be a great trick. It's going to be a great trick that you're going to know. Okay, so we'll just set that aside because we don't need it right now, okay? Let the cake cool down. I'll be right back. This is exciting. Just how quick everything is happening. You put this in the drawer, okay? <clears throat> Anyone seen Christopher? How is he? Who's getting married? I don't have a cake planner. Just a regular plate. Oh, 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 okay. One of your favorite sayings. One of your favorite sayings, Sea Life. G Huge is, is laughing. Let me go back and look at some messages. Uh oh, let me fix this. We're going to lose connection. Hold on. Okay. Microphone is off because the camera is being charged.
Hello, VMC. German chocolate is your favorite. Thank you for making this. You're so welcome, cooking. Thank you, you're so welcome. Oh, Sea Life says Saj yours too. Uh, congrats, Saj. What's the congratulations to Saj, guys? Haven't seen Christopher. Gina, it's all, let's see. Let's see. It's all a rumor, the marriage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, what y'all talking about? Ronald T, is it your birthday? If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Hello, Denise, welcome. Sonia, it, if I was y'all, Saj says, Sonia, if I was, if I was, y'all would be invited. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so it's not real? <laughs> so Mel Rhodes, you have to put the parchment paper under the cake to make it look presentable so the icing wouldn't be all on the plate. Absolutely. So that's what I do. And if you don't have parchment paper, y'all, I got a headache. If you don't have parchment paper, just use some regular paper. You may have some printer paper, some type of paper around the house that you can put underneath the cake. Some people might not understand what we're doing with the parchment paper, but I'm going to show you, and it makes a whole lot of sense. Asanya says, don't listen to them. You have a headache too, always? My goodness. Well, I'm praying that your headache goes away. Nate says, or toilet paper. Don't y'all do it. Y'all better not listen to him. Y'all was about to have me say congratulations for nothing. I, me too, Raymond. I'm sitting there ready to say congratulations. And they just playing. My goodness. Oh, my Lord. And Nate said, you could use toilet paper. Don't use toilet paper underneath your cake, y'all. <laughs> He's kidding. Please just ignore him. <laughs> mm, always Rosalind. I pray that your headache goes away. <laughs> Nancy says, what? <laughs> Wax paper, you can. Wax paper, you can. <clears throat> you, can you make tacos, Miss Gina? I can. <clears throat> sure I can. I would love to make tacos. I would love to make tacos. Um, you guys love when I make tacos. Have you ever made the cake? It's a mad German. It's a Texas chocolate zucchini. I, I, don't, I don't understand your message. I, I don't believe I have. Oh, Cindy says, Cindy, welcome. Cindy says, how about taco salad? Soft or hard tacos? Um, when I was younger, I liked hard tacos. But now that I'm older, I like soft tacos. Um, and then lately, I've been really enjoying authentic hot dog. Uh, hot dog, not hot dog, tacos. <laughs> I've been enjoying authentic tacos that you can get, like, from the street truck. And um, they put it on a corn tortilla. It tastes so good. I just tell them, just give me just the meat and the corn tortilla. And you know, cause they'll put sauce, they'll put, uh, not salsa, pico de gallo, um, cilantro, onions. I don't want none of that. I just want the meat and their beautiful corn tortilla. And I love it that way. You're getting a lot of buffering on your end. Is it buffering? Huh? It's not buffering, so it may be on your end. I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself right now, and it's actually okay. There's no buffering. Happy birthday, Brenda. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, you love the ranch tacos. I, Sonia, don't you know I never tried them? Carne asada, yeah, that's good. 
No buffering here, says K Coffee. Okay, great. Um, we have birria tacos here. I, you never had them. It's a taco dipped in some salt. Sea life. Guess what? I got a video for it. <laughs> Two, three years. Well, I'd like to say three years ago. I did a video for you all. I made the meat. I made the sauce, or it's like a juice. I cooked the meat on my flat top. I made the birria tacos, and the world loved it. If you want to know how to make it, check out my video. My plan is to have a recipe for anything that you all can think of, and when you type in what you're looking for, my name comes up. That's my whole plan. If you're wanting to know how to make corn pudding, scallop corn, whatever it may be, you type it in, Jeannie Young's name is going to come up. You type in fresh green beans, Jeannie Young's name is going to come up. Whole, uh, deep dish pizza, now my name will come up. <laughs> Gina, Cuba food. I have made a recipe from Cuba. Um, and, oh my goodness, what's the name? Uh, it's their famous sandwich. It's a pork, pork grinder sandwich that has mustard and pickles, and I believe Swiss cheese. Don't quote me, because right now, I, I just can't think of the name. Cuban sandwich, yes. Do you like green beans, almondine? Yes, Thomas, I actually made a recipe um, recently for that. I did, I did. It may have been on my healthy channel. Healthy recipes with Gina. You need to look that up, Gina, for the birria tacos. Oh, yeah, look it up. Let me know what you think. Gina, make some samosas, Indian snack. I can. I know how to make samosas. I make some good samosas. And I'm here to tell you, um, with my samosas, I do use chorizo or ground beef. Check me out. And I will be using, like, carrots, potatoes. Oh, carrots and potatoes on the inside. Talk about delish. And I will use um, sazon and some tomato paste and a couple other things. But I make really good samosas. You never had the birria tacos. Okay, okay. You would like them. Okay, so uh, Mildred says, I never heard of samosas. Let me tell you, can you make butter chicken? Nate, you know I got that recipe. Nate, you know I got that recipe. I got that recipe. Um, so Mildred says, um, so I have butter chicken. I make some of the best butter chicken there is out there. Mildred, a samosa is like, it's like meat and vegetable mixture. That's, it's, it's really flavorful. And then it's wrapped in a pastry. The pastry is buttery. It's crispy. You can fry it or you can bake it. And it's almost as if, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the feeling that you get or the taste? Uh, you know the taste that you're going to get uh, from a uh, pot pie? You know, you got the crust and then you got the inside. Right, Mildred? Only this is what you, you can hold it by your hand. It's in a pastry. Crispy, buttery, all of that tasty. And then you bite into the meat and then you got veggies in there. It's, it's hands down delicious. Some people will even put um, a couple of green um, olives in there. Gina, I'm constantly watching your YouTube channel, and I love it very much. I made your guacamole today from your channel, and OMG, amazing! Mary, that makes me so happy. Thank you for sharing that, and thank you for always watching. Indian samosas, my bad. Oh, I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. Hold on, guys. Three what? 30 I can't. Can you talk up? Thirty-minute meal or cooking for three years. Uh, for what is it? This. For this cake. Yeah. This cake is not thirty minutes. So quick. No, it's just dessert. That's it. International. Um, you could do a uh, Mexican international. Mexi Mexican quick meals and vegetables. That's all the categories it'll go in. What, what are we talking about? Guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> he got me confused. How does he, why does he 
do that, y'all. I'm sitting here talking to y'all. He asked me, what category does the food go in? I'm thinking we talk about guacamole because we are talking about guacamole. What are you talking about? Hold on, y'all. Let me stop the, this real quick. The playlist for the cake. The playlist for the cake. The cake goes in dessert, and you know that's all it goes in. This is the best. <laughs> So why you let me sit there and say Mexican and vegetable? You know I'm talking about guacamole, not cake. Okay, international? No, the cake, oh, just the cake, the cake will go on dessert and that's it. <laughs> Lord, he confusing me, y'all. What do I do? <laughs> what happens when he confuses me like that? Like we having a good conversation about guacamole and he asks me what category and I say vegetables, but he talking about cake. I'm confused. They said, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> go go see. Them dogs is barking. Oh, Valencia. Great. You love the fish sticks. Valencia. My fa Listen, y'all. My family loved the fish sticks. But not only. Hold on. Let me say something real quick. My family loved the fish sticks. Who was it in the chat that was asking for the Singapore noodles every time I came to live? I came to the live every single time they were asking for Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles, Singapore noodles, when you gonna make them, Gina? We made them yesterday and they were hands down delicious. So if you haven't, thank you. What, what is that? If you haven't, um, I, I don't know why they're, they they keep making me forget what I'm saying. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. My husband's don't doing blame it. Us My that. husband's talking to me. I have no clue what he's saying. Yeah. The right Singapore right. noodles were delicious, y'all. Let's just put it that way. Is samosas in your playlist? No. They said, "Hey, Mr. Young." Everybody got to say hello. He said hello. Ron said, what it do, Mr. Young? Tell Mr. Ron. I said, Mr. <laughs> my Libra brother. He said, my Libra brother. He said, tell Mr. Ron. I said, hey. <laughs> I don't know. I was talking. They both did it. They did it to me. Hmm. They're all saying, hey, baby. <laughs> okay, so Nate says, me and Mr. Young go way back. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> like 72 car seats. <laughs> and then 72 car seats. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. He said hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, way back where? <laughs> Brown said that. <laughs> 72 car seat. I don't know what he means. It's just like a figure of speech. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a figure of speech, Ron. Ron said, wait, where? <laughs> Repeated it. I really didn't understand what he was saying either. <laughs> Rodney, welcome. He said, I ain't losing my friend. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> no, you ain't, Ron. <laughs> it, it is. It's only, yeah. <laughs> I can't eat that. It's too much sugar. <laughs> Lord. Let me, let me show you what my husband brought in. So he comes in and he brings in the caramel, caramel popcorn. Dakota's eating the caramel popcorn. And then he put about five of these in front of me and I've already ate two. I told my husband, quit bringing those sweets. Because he brings the sweets that I love and I shouldn't have it. I told him to stop, y'all. Um. <laughs> oh, caramel corn is your favorite? Run. Okay, hold on. Sonia, they do. Sonia, I mean, uh, Mildred. The fish sticks, 
tastes so much better than the one. I mean, and I and like I said in the video, I loved my the fish sticks that are frozen. Like they're they're still delicious to today. But when you decide to make them homemade, it's on another level. They are so good. Oh, Sonia says I love caramel popcorn too. <laughs> Miss B said, yep, it's good. Ooh, a caramel apple. Now that's what I love. Mm-hmm. You have to try. I know before Dakota interrupted me, I was talking about the sun-dried tomatoes to Raymond. Raymond, you got to try them one time just to say you've tried them. But when you put them into a recipe, they will rehydrate, but they just won't get mushy like a regular fresh tomato will. A regular fresh tomato, when you cook it, they turn into mush sometimes. This, it never gets mushy, and it has such a great, like a sweet, you know, and still that tangy filling that you get from tomatoes. This has just been hydrated or, or, or dehydrated, and they are so delicious. No, he said, he said they, they go back like 72 car seats go all the way back. I guess, I don't know. He said, giving me too much information. <laughs> he was doing like this. <laughs> okay, so Zadi says, yes, the sun-dried tomatoes are good. You know the, algor the algorithm, the algorithm to what? I know the algorithm to what? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you're talking about. Sun-dried tomatoes are delicious. Happy birthday, Tania. You love plain popcorn with salt. No butter, no nothing. Is that right? No butter, no nothing on your popcorn? Gina, let's do a hummingbird cake. I keep saying that I'm going to do it. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. I've never made one. Just put it that way. Um, I've, I'll have to give it a try. And we'll see how it turns out. But you all know that I'm, I'm, I'm famous for not making homemade cakes. <laughs> I don't consider myself to be a baker. And that's why I love to make a cake that comes in a cake box. You, you know, the box cake mix. I'll bump that baby up and make it taste good. But now I will make a homemade pound cake from scratch. I, make, I made a homemade chocolate pound cake a couple years back and it was absolutely amazing. You can't understand why some people put salt and pepper on their popcorn. It's not steak. No, it's not steak and I'll, I'll never understand that either. Tania, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Tania, my birthday is coming up. Yep, Sonia's birthday will be on 8 12. And I'm gonna do a recipe for Sonia. We're gonna be making strawberry shortcake. Gina, throw the rest of the popcorn to me. <laughs> be happy to finish it off for you. <laughs> um, do you have a recipe for a fried onion ring? Your rings break. I Let me tell you this, I just have to say this. Um, Hold on, hold on. Now, um, what was I gonna say? Onion rings can be difficult to make. They, they could. Oh, Shirley Clark, you're saying you love it too, the box cake, yeah. Have you ever made the chess pie? I have. I have. I, um, if it's the same recipe that we're talking about. So let's just say this. So I make a recipe for what I like to call cheese pie. And I made this the first year I started my channel in 2017. So I made the cheese pie and then I put a beautiful fresh 
a blueberry uh, compote on top of it. A, 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 a cheese pie, what I call, is I think what you guys are calling a chess pie. So check out the video and let me know if that's what you're looking for. Chess pie, oh my goodness, it's so good. I feel like it's just like my cheese pie that I made in 2017. Should onion rings be deep fried? They can, uh, but I do wanna stress that uh, the person that was talking to me, onion rings are hard to make. I know it should be very simple. You know, you're gonna dip them in some buttermilk, possibly some egg, some flour and breadcrumbs and cook them babies. But when I make mine, the crust comes off. I'm talking about when I make mine, the crust comes off. I'm gonna have to develop a recipe and figure it out how they can work where the crust don't come off of them. Ron says they're harder than they look. I, I mean, yeah, because you would think that it's easy to make. They are. You get chest pie and egg custard mixed up. Oh, okay, they have the same consistency when you look at them, but they are completely different. You don't like cheesecake. Oh, Susan. T. Smith is in the chat, Sonia. Oh, Mildred, you love chess pie. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can't get the crust to stay on. Yeah, the crust will come. The crust will come off. Now, when I make the... Um, I, when I make the, um, they're so loud. I can't even think, y'all. They having a good time over there. I can't even think. Like, my mind keeps getting confused real easy today. <laughs> you refuse to eat Papa John's. Domino's Pizza, Little Caesars. Oh, from Brooklyn. So now, my holy king, I love Pizza Hut. I love Pizza Hut. I'm not a fan of the other ones. But Pizza Hut, we'll fight over some Pizza Hut. Not really, but we will fight over some Pizza Hut. I love Pizza Hut. I love their pan crust. It's so good. Oh, I love their pan crust. I'm going to fill my cakes. I want to fill the cakes. Where's my dogs? I want to fill the cakes and see how cool they are. If the cakes are cool, we about to ice them. Okay, wait a minute. This is bring the pepper spray and nunchucks. It's creeps out there. <laughs> oh, you like CC's? Years ago. Oh my goodness. The, like when me and my husband first met, which was back in 97, he would take me to CC's Pizza. And it was so much fun to go. Now, that was when we lived in Columbus, Ohio. I don't know if they even have a CC's Pizza anymore i like i don't know cc's pizza if you all don't know about it in the chat they have a cc's pizza that has macaroni and cheese on top they have a cc's pizza that has s'mores ingredients on top cc's pizza all meat anything that you can think of that's what cc's pizza has and you just grab what kind of pizza you want it's really interesting and it was so much fun to go to i like i said around that that area when, when me and my husband met. Gina, I used a beer batter to fry my onion rings. Is that right? Oh, you remember that, Sonia. Okay, a Big Mac pizza? What you? Wait a minute. It's easier to make fried mushrooms than onion rings. I agree with you, moon goodness. I've never had CC's or Little, little Caesars is just a straight up cheap pizza. It's cheap. And, you know, uh, when we were younger, you could get a Little Caesars pizza for $5, a large pizza, and that baby was good. You know, because when you're younger, you don't have expectations for your pizza. At least I don't think I did back then. But as an adult, I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't eat uh, Little Caesars. Mm -mm. Pizza, pizza, no. Is that them that says pizza, pizza? 
<laughs> Let me check my cake, y'all. Okay, covering what we're going to serve the cake on. So now, <clears throat> what this paper serves as the purpose of not getting your platter messy with icing. Okay, it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Because after we're done uh, putting icing on the whole cake, we can remove the paper and you'll have a nice clean platter. Okay, so the steam did take some of this. Okay, and I don't mind that. I'm going to eat that. Okay? So now, since we're doing a double layer, we have to get this side with the filling in the middle, and then we'll put our other cake on top. Okay? So let's get started. Hey, get over there. Sit down. I'm talking to the puppies, y'all. I don't know what they're doing right now. Okay. Let's mixy mix. This is some of the best icing you have ever tasted. Oh, get you some in there. Oh. All right. Nice and beautiful. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of icing in the middle. But just making sure you get some in the middle, right? There we go. Perfect. So now I'm ready, it, it, it doesn't have to be perfectly out to the border of the cake. You don't have to, okay? Just make sure it's on there. 
just like so when you're decorating a cake. I'm not a cake decorator. I'm not. <laughs> just be gentle. I do know to be gentle with the cake. Okay? So now, we're going to take our cake. Okay? Just like so. How easy. Simple peasy. Come on, Gina. It's cake time. You ask for it. You ask for it. And so I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. All right. So now let's get our mix on. Make sure your cake is definitely cooled down. Okay. Feel free to cool your cake down on the counter or in the refrigerator like I did. So let's give it a nice, you know, little round go like this, if that makes any sense. All right, beautiful. Make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want. How many of you love, love, love this icing? This icing is so tasty. So the icing has coconut pecans in it. And almost like, I, I, you know, I don't know if I want to say a caramel. What would you guys say when you think a German chocolate cake? What would you call it? Would you consider this to be like a caramel or no? Okay, so I'm going to mix this. Always mix this. It can be kind of thick until you start to work with it. And then when you begin to work with it, it'll thin out a little bit, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. So I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to try. You don't need a whole bunch on the edges either. Just a little bit on the edges will work, okay? There we go. Now, you see all this that's getting onto the platter? Once we remove this, we're going to be in good standing, okay? This is so relaxing. This is so much fun. And you know, quite honestly, it's easy to make. And anything that, you know, I can do, you all can do the same thing. And like this right here, it's going to turn heads. And people don't have to know that your cake isn't homemade. They really don't, and I'm so serious when I say that. Because guess what? In the end, you know that people are going to eat this cake. They're going to eat it. And if somebody doesn't eat it because it's homemade, they wasn't supposed to be at the party. Right? They wasn't. They wasn't never supposed to be invited anyways. <laughs> they wasn't. Y'all inviting the wrong people. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna to continue to go around just like so in this manner. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Just get it on there. That's the object. <laughs> when you're not a cake maker, the object is to get the icing on there however you can get it on. <laughs> All right, beautiful. I'm telling you, I am refra refraining from licking my fingers right now because I love this icing so much. <clears throat> this icing, to me, to me, <clears throat> do you all think, oh, it looks so good, says Renee. Do you think that this is a real sweet icing? I think this icing is perfect. I don't think it's a real sweet icing, and that's what I love about it. I love that it's not too sweet. Okay, look at this. It's coming together. If you wanted to get real fancy, you could put some whole pecans on there make like a decoration you know really if you wanted to and see when we're done with this i'm gonna cut a slice and you guys are gonna get to try it oh okay hold on there's some icy get on there <laughs> this is fun this is definitely fun so now let me tell you what you have to look forward to on saturday so Saturday, we're going to be making uh, blackened chicken salads. If you don't want to make the blackened chicken, 
It's okay, I'm gonna still show you how to make it, but you all can make a nice fresh salad with me and we can eat salads together on Saturday and then we can just talk for, you know, a couple hours. So I think that'll be fun for Saturday. Okay, so let me see. Whoom thing, whoom thing, whoom. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm so happy with the way that it looks. Can you tell me how everything's looking from your way? Is everything looking pretty good from your end? Because I can't see, I can't see anything. Is it good? Let me see. Okay, oh, I can see it. Okay, it looks like there's a part that I need to work on. Is it this part or over here? There it is, right there. I need to, I need to put some on right there. Okay, I think we're good. We are good. How about it? How about it? Easy peasy, delicious. We have an amazing cake here, made Jeannie Young style, and it's gonna be delicious. And when I cut down into it, you're gonna really be able to see what the pudding did to the cake. You're gonna be able to see how moisty moist this cake is, okay? All right, let me clean up a little bit because I don't want to, when I don't clean up, I'm, I'm, I'm a disaster. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Okay. So here's what I like to do. All right. <clears throat> let me, what, there's a, a bag. Okay, hold on guys. Okay, are we ready? Come on, let me show you. If you move nice and gently, you all know how to be gentle, that will happen. Okay? If you move too fast, you may get a little bit onto your platter, but I promise it's okay. Did it mess it up? Let's see, it messed it up, so. It's okay. We're not going to freak out about it, all right? Here we go. We're moving in the right direction. That's it. You better make you some. Mm. Make you some Jenny Young style, and then you come back. Let me know what you think about the recipe. Well, yeah. All right. Let's get a knife. We're going to cut it. We are. And I'm going to let you know what you think. I can't let you know what you think. Y'all tell me what you think. so much I appreciate that I do I appreciate you um, Heavenly Father thank you for your strength today thank you Lord for your mercy thank you Jesus for this beautiful dessert thank you for your blessings and your lessons and Jesus Christ's name we pray amen all right so let's cut the cake oh Auga! <laughs> Auga! Isn't that how the horn sound on the old cars? Auga! Keep in mind that this is freshly cooked. 
right, let's go in with this. And hopefully I can wow you all with the wow factor. Hold on guys, let me at least get it off of my fork. Oh, mm-hmm, it tastes good. Mm, 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 mm. Come on in. Hold on. <laughs> yes. That's it. That is it. German chocolate cake. How easy was it to make? It was stinking easy, right? I'm going to cut him a piece so he can enjoy. And I'm gonna turn his piece on its side, okay? And some people like to serve their cakes, you know, on the side. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Look at this one. My, my, my. Look at this one. Me, oh my. Mm-hmm. So then, I know I can stop y'all. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Hey, hey! I know! Does your dad want a piece right now? Okay. Let's eat. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering so many of our prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for your many blessings. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Latika, are you here? Is there coconut in the cake? No coconut in the cake. But coconut is in the icing. Okay, look, now you can see. So remember you asked about the pudding in the cake. The pudding in the cake is going to make your cake so moist. Look. <laughs> Let's do this part. Oh, look. Okay, hold on tight, hold tight, hold tight, because I'm coming through. I know. <laughs> what is Mildred saying? Yes, urban tea, it is um, pecans. I haven't put zucchini in chocolate cake, but I have made zucchini bread. I have made zucchini bread. Kathy says, send her some. Tell Kathy to grab her a piece right now. Tell her it's going fast like hot cakes. But before anybody gets any, tell Kathy she get the first piece. Kathy, I love you. <laughs> okay, hold on, y'all. My husband does want a piece. Hold on. Hey, Latifa. Just wait a minute. She loves you too. Thank you, Kathy. Absolutely. Yes, we are family. What happened? Somebody needs to go to the hospital? You said, oh no, you waited over 18 years for this cake. Let's see, Frost Supreme, if that is not a joke, you need to go. Where's Frost Supreme at? Oh, Mildred says put vanilla ice cream. Uh-oh, put vanilla ice cream on top. Okay, Frost Supreme, I'm having contractions, but I refuse to go. You need to go. 
You need to go. Look at my face. You need to go. If you're having contractions, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Congratulations on the baby. You go to the hospital. Don't stay home. Like, why? Like, why? I can remember that I did have um, false contractions. And they sent me home, and it was so frustrating. And they call them Braxton Hicks. But if you're having contractions, you need, you need to go. Oh, you got your plane ticket. You're coming for that cake. My goodness. Okay, so let's taste it. Look how glorious. Is it glorious, y'all? Would you consider this to be glorious? Good night, Miss B. Latika, you're on your way. <laughs> no, we don't, Sonia. <laughs> we don't. I definitely don't. I do know how to tell if you're dilated or not. I could, I could do that, but I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me change that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, Gina. Let me think about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me think about what I just said. No, I don't want to deliver no babies. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Beth is cracking up. You don't want to be rude and, and and leave the live. You can leave the live if you have an a ba if you have an a baby. Have that baby and come back and then tell listen, tell the whole hospital staff all about Gina Young. What I'm doing in this kitchen. And after the baby's delivered, tell them to turn on turn me on your TV. <laughs> That's what you do. And then send me a picture of the baby. <laughs> Sonia, I had to let her know I was serious. You need to get. All right, y'all, let's take a bite. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Was it Drew or Raymond? Who was it that was asking about the pudding? Mm. Yo, I'm not kidding. I'm not saying it because I made it. What I'm saying to you right now is this cake is so moist. This cake is so moist. Some people don't like the word. It is so soft and supple. Take a look. Oh, look it, took it, look it. Mm. Mm. Okay, Kathy. Ron, you give Kathy this bite right here. And don't you eat her piece, Ron. Don't you eat her piece of cake. I sent Kathy a whole piece of cake. Straight through the phone. Look at that. Mm. Yo, I'm not allowed to do this. I'm not allowed to eat this cake. But it tastes so good. And y'all know when my eyes start to close, it's good. <laughs> Urban tea, thank you. <laughs> I take it the cake looked so good. She said, yum, yum. Okay, that's great. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Oh, God. Can, can anybody see the moistness in the cake? Let me see. Oh, there, my whole piece. Hold on, guys. I really got to get that up. The dogs cannot have that. Hold on. Here, can you help me, Dakota? Hold on, move, babies. Move, babies. Get the paper towel. Hold on, guys. I got cake on the floor, and my babies cannot have this. Congratulations on your baby. Go to the hospital, girl. Anybody got time for you to be at home having contractions? Mm -mm. And then you're going to say, Gina Young made me stay at home. Don't you do that. Uh-uh. No, I didn't. Gina Young wants you to go to the hospital and tell the world about Gina Young. Here, here. Get that up. I don't want them to have no chocolate. <laughs> All right, one more bite and then I'm done, y'all. I can't have this. Okay, okay.
Come on, come on. Child, I'm done. I cleared my plate. Oh, you're definitely going to make this tomorrow, Carla. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Purple Love. Gina, that be the baby's first word. <laughs> that would be funny. Gina. <laughs> Mama. Gina. <laughs> I say, what you say? Gina. <laughs> How much is a piece, Gina? Well, one piece. One piece is, is <laughs> one piece, six fifty. My holy king, thank you. Six fifty, six fifty a piece. Six fifty. That's all I'm asking for one piece. <laughs> Ten dollars, twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's name. It'll be Gina's name if it's a girl. <laughs> Sonia, don't you do it. Mama Gina. <laughs> How cute. Oh, we did. We got it up there. It was just a piece, a little piece. But I wanted him to get that up so the babies didn't get to it. He got it up. That baby wants some cake. That baby made her go into labor. It did. Beth says, I love a good moist cake. I, I, I truly agree that a cake must always be moist. If a cake is dry, if you ever make a, a dry cake, throw it in the trash. If you make a cake and it's dry, throw it away. It ain't no good. Nobody gonna like it. I'll tell y'all a funny story if you want to know a funny story. So the year I met my husband, uh, I made him some boneless pork chops. And um, so this was in 97. I don't know what I did wrong. The boneless pork chops were like, it was like chalk. <laughs> they were so dry. It was like cardboard, right? And uh, he ate them. And later we was talking and I said, you know, I said, oh, hold on, Mildred. I said, uh, yeah, I said, I thought my pork chops was dry. He said, me too, almost choked. <laughs> I thought, oh, heck no. <laughs> I thought, I ain't never making a, a, a boneless pork chop again. And it steered me away from making boneless pork chops ever again. And I said, I'll never make another boneless pork chop. I was so embarrassed. Glenda is laughing. Glenda, how you doing? Okay, let me see. I do know, the, I do know uh, putting mayo in there. And even sour cream will make a good cake moist. But it was so funny because... The thing is, if I wouldn't have said nothing, he wasn't going to say anything until I said, you know, I, I wasn't happy with my pork chops. I said, they was kind of dry. He said, I know, almost choked. I thought, why you got to be kidding? You better tell me. So it, I went so many years without making boneless pork chops. I said, I ain't never going to make them again. Those old greasy, dried up things. <laughs> right? I was so mad at boneless pork chops. So now I make the pork chop in the bone and they're always juicy. <laughs> but I can make a me I can make a delicious boneless pork chop today. If you ask me to, they're juicy. They're crispy and they're packed with flavor. Oh, see, Sonia says no boneless pork chops or chicken. I, I understand. I do. I do. <laughs> hold on, hold on, baby. You want to see the people? You scratching my leg. You scratching my leg. You just a baby. You just a baby and you love your mommy, don't you? You so perfect. 
You're so perfect. Oh my goodness. I love you. You hear Prince Prince on the floor. He's barking. I love you. Hey. This is Polo, guys. And he's so perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Instapot to make him uh, tender. Okay. I love you, Polo. You're a good baby. Okay, your brother wants to be picked up. Hold on, hold on. Prince, did y'all hear him? Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie boy. Come here. You good baby. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at him, guys. Hold on. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Look, look, look. He looking the other way. He hear he hears his dad. He hears his dad. Just came up. Just came up. Okay. Look, look. Can you say hi, sweetie pie? You see your dad? You love your daddy, don't you? Oh my goodness. Look at y'all, he ain't paying me no attention. Look at that. How he was able to beat Miss Georgia. Ah, uh, okay, so the cake beats <laughs> Miss Georgia. Okay, sign, sealed, and deliver. The cake beats Miss Georgia. So I told you all about Miss Georgia. The lady, she was an older lady in his neighborhood when he growed up. And when he was growing up, and she made certain things. She would make this. She would make that. And when we met, my husband would tell me, it's got to taste like Miss Georgia's. Okay, so he just told me that the cake beat Miss Georgia. So I'm happy. Uh, and he, he cleared the plate, y'all. He cleared the plate. So that makes me happy. You want to say hi one more time to the people? Oh, my goodness. You a sweet baby. Oh, honey. Oh, you're so perfect. Oh my goodness, you're so perfect. Mm. Oh, guys, they are so sweet. I love them. I know, his dried pork chop. Don't, y'all, that pork chop had me. I mean, like, I felt bad for years. I said, I'll never make them all nasty, dried out, gnawed off. Look at my mouth. Gnawed off pork chops. I was so mad. He gonna tell me, I know I choked. I thought, what the heck? Let me ask him in front of y'all. Baby, do you remember when we met? I ain't even looking at him. I want him to answer. Do you remember? I'm looking at y'all. Do you remember when we met? I made you some boneless pork chops. Do you remember what happened with the pork chops? Now this- You almost killed me. Uh-oh, say it again. You almost killed me. He said you almost killed me. Yeah, you did. He said, yeah, you, you did. You almost killed me. He said you almost killed me. <laughs> almost choked. He said almost choked. <laughs> he said almost choked. <laughs> Don't you? I oh, said, but, he, but listen, he was so sweet. Here's what he did. He didn't say nothing until I said, you know, I really wasn't too happy with my poor chops. And that's what he said. <laughs> and, then, and that's what he said. I know I choked. <laughs> he waited. He waited for me to say something. <laughs> K Coffee said, I can't. <laughs> Not my brother. Yes, your brother. Yeah, he was yeah. almost out of here on them poor yeah. chops. <laughs> that's what she did to me. He said that's what she did. He said that's what she did to me. <laughs> he said that was my initiation. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I was so mad at those pork chops. I was like, I never gonna make them all dried all day. <laughs> oh yes, my holy king says, Sonya, it's true. I love dogs more than some people. I do you know I feel that way? <laughs> Do you know me and my husband feel that way? <laughs> I'm so sick. I love my dogs, y'all. Oh, you're his lawyer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Boneless pork chops are dry as the desert. Just like you said, but what I can, uh, I can offend or, or, or what, how, what's the word that I want to put in there? I can now that I have critiqued how to make them. <clears throat> I know how to make them now where they're juicy and they're packed with flavor and I know how long to cook them. I know how to cook them. I know how to marinate them where they stay juicy, right? But back then I just, he said I almost took him out, y'all. <laughs> 
Wish well, that's not nice. Let's see what Wish well is saying. Where is Wish well at? Is there somebody in here named Wish well? Oh no, that's horrible, Wish well. You remember, oh my goodness. Y'all keep an eye on Wish well in here. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> keep an eye on him. <laughs> oh, that's when you knew he was a keeper. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to say nothing, y'all. Until I said, baby, I didn't really like my pork chop. He said, I didn't either. I choked. <laughs> I thought, oh, heck no. Almost took him out. <laughs> they are hard to make, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mildred said, I just cooked boneless pork chops. Oh, with the gravy, they were boneless? Okay, and you sent me a picture. Your daughter and granddaughter said it was good. Oh, you can cook them. Yeah, you you did a good job, and it was beautiful. So what happened with yours is because you smothered them in gravy, it's going to keep them nice and tender, right? Because you smothered them in gravy, and your gravy looked spot on to mine. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I saw, let's see, I saw y'all giving him a birthday bash. It seems straight up cool, dude. Like he don't play. No, he don't play. He don't, no, he don't play no games. No, he don't. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. You said T. Smith, they are so good. Good night. See you Saturday, Nancy. We're going to make um, uh, blackened chicken salad. Not chicken salad, but blackened chicken, and we're going to put it in a salad. Bring your ingredients, and we can all have a nice, fresh salad on Saturday. It's going to be a ton of fun. A ton of fun. You cooked a pot roast one time and choked your boyfriend's uncle. <laughs> you had to do the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we got a movie with y'all too, baby. With who? With you and the one who almost choked the uncle. <laughs> he said, he said we're going to have to make a movie with me and you, the one that almost choked the uncle. <laughs> he said, we got a whole movie right there. We can put together a movie. <laughs> oh seven layer taco dip cindy that's great i actually love it i actually love it are you done with that go ahead and sign it out nature and animals are more loyal than humans oh What is that moon goddess on your, I don't know, understand what you're saying, Purple Love. Gina, any advice on my new job, school nutrition department? I wish you could visit with your awesome cooking skills. Oh, you said, is there any advice? Um, just when you are cooking for a large crowd, which could be, you know, possibly the teachers, the principal and the kids, um, just cook, just, just, this is what I always like to do. This is the best advice that I can give when you're working somewhere. Work, I, I believe the Bible says this. Work, when you're working, work like you're working for the Lord. Work like you are working for the Lord. That's what I've always done with any job. Whether I was at a job changing diapers, giving baths, cleaning someone's house, working in the hospital, no matter what type of job I was doing, I would always be working like I'm working for the Lord. So that is, he probably has PTSD. <laughs> um, that I, I'd like to say I take that along with me in life. When I'm working, y'all, 
I don't know if you all can see that in me, but when I'm doing something, I don't care if I'm making a bologna sandwich, I'm gonna do it like I'm working for the Lord. I want to please when I'm doing my job. And I did the same thing when I was working in the hospital, in home health care, whether I was wiping butts, giving showers, or cleaning their house, washing clothes, whatever I was doing. That's the best advice that I can give you. And when you do that, I know you'll be blessed. I know you'll be blessed because you're helping people. I like jobs where you can help people. You know, I, I like jobs where you can help, and you're helping the kids. You're giving them some good food. Um, you know, you're feeding people. Amen. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you said, heck yeah. Yes. That's what I totally believe. And I do believe, don't quote me, y'all. I could be wrong. But I feel like that's in the Bible. You know, when you work, work like you're working for the Lord. If you put one foot in whatever you do, God will put the other foot in. No matter what you're doing. Thank you, Ron. I, I try. I try, y'all. And sometimes I come on here, I don't feel good. But I, I come on or I'm tired. You know, I don't have energy. Whatever it may be. Um, but I, I like to do it for you all, too. I like to do it for you all. There's a lot of people that um, when they come into the chat, they just want to come into the chat because... They um, need somebody to talk to. You know, it's been a while since they've had interaction with people and things like that. And I, I welcome that. I, I welcome that. I pray. I say, Lord, let them come in as they are. I pray ever before every live. Let them come in as they are, no matter who they are. Let them come in knowing that they can be their self and that we can have a good clean time at the Young's house. Help us to have great conversations and good topics that we all can be happy and enlightened about. You know, keep the trolls away in Jesus Christ's name. Keep the devil away. That's what I'm doing before we go live. That's what you're hearing in this household before I click that, boop, before I click that button. I'm praying that we all can come together <clears throat> in this one setting and just have some peace of mind. I say, Lord, let them come in and take their take their mind off of the worries of the world. Come in here and just sit back and relax. You don't have to come in dressed up. You don't have to be somebody else. You can be yourself and we can have good fun no matter who you are on this channel. As long as you're not disrespectful. If you're disrespectful, I'll block you. But other than that, I pray for us to have a great time. And I always say, God, I include you into this chat. Lord, I include you into everything that I do. If I decide to uh, go plant flowers, let's just use that for example, because Ron showed me his beautiful flowers today, and I'm jealous how gorgeous they are. <laughs> um, uh, I say, Lord, I include you into this. Thank you for this ground that you've given me to, to put these flowers. And I pray that you put a blessing over these flowers so they can grow abundantly. I, I mean, it don't matter what I'm doing. Work, do it like you're working for the Lord. and you're, You just get a lot more out of it rather than just going to work just because, you know, just because I need a check. Try to find jobs that you like. And if you like it, then that's great. You know, it helps out. Although I have had jobs that I hate it. Like I hate it with a passion. Um, but when you're in that situation, you still work that job until you find something that you like. Something that you can be happy and relax. Yes, amen, <laughs> K-Coffee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right, Cindy. I think that was Cindy. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Nicole Stucco. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, Nicole, we love you. Absolutely. Y'all, listen, Cindy, you're so funny. Cindy said you even blessed that frog. So listen, there's baby frogs out there. 
It is. As baby frogs out there, they're black. Black is my hat. My mulch out there, y'all know the mulch out there is jet black. Well, if you look down and you think it's a piece of mulch, it's not. It's a frog and their babies and they're all out there. <laughs> they got a whole little section where they like to sit now. I seen him this morning. I'm not afraid of him because he's only this big. I'm not afraid of him. <laughs> but it looks like a piece of mulch <laughs> jumping everywhere. He's black. He matches exactly in with the mulch. His body looks just like the mulch. I ain't afraid of him. I, I told him this morning, I said, you better watch it. I know who your daddy is. Probably that green frog that jumped up on the table. <laughs> Thank y'all. I love you. Thank you so much for the kind words. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Mary Jane. Hey, Mary, how are you? Maybe tell them a story about someone. Oh, I missed your message, Mary. You know that has them who knows might be what they have. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to read the message. What did you just learn, my holy king? I'm looking for your message. I missed it. <laughs> Moon Goddess says, I hear you, Gina. <laughs> Welcome in, Moon Goddess. A black frog. Yeah, they're black. Well, here's the thing. They might not even be black, right? Here, here's why I say that. What if they're a different color, but they blend in with the color? But they're black. I mean, black, is, like I said, black is the mulch. They look just like the mulch. And if you're not careful, uh, you will mistake it for mulch. His body looks just like the mulch in the ground. And only, he only this big. I said, I know who your daddy is. <laughs> your daddy was hanging up under the table. Look at that. <laughs> G Hughes, oh my. Oh, thank you, moon goddess. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Alan, how you doing? Gina, do you want to come to our summer party? Oh, your dad will be cooking over the campfire August 12th. Alan, that's great. I'm not going to be able to make it, but thank you for offering. That's so great. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, there could be. Um, the frogs, maybe they change color. So maybe they're black because they're living in a mulch right now. Possibly. I was reading the message, y'all. <laughs> Could you see me looking down, smiling? <laughs> Next summer, Gina, will you be shopping for bathing suits and enjoying your new pool? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. God's willing, it would be nice, but we'll, we'll just see. And like I told you, when we get a new pool, y'all going to be the first one to know. But like I said, I don't think this is going to be the home where we're going to get the pool. Because I want to put, I, I want to put money into a pool in a different backyard, not this backyard. It's going to have to be a different backyard for sure. When we first moved in here, we thought possibly, you know, we would want to put the pool in this yard, but uh, it's too many frogs. No, <laughs> that's not the reason why. That is the reason why. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, there is a lot of frogs out here. But the yard, I think the yard is just not going to allow us to put a pool in this backyard. So, uh... We'll, we'll see. I'm going to let you guys know along the way as, you know, as we figure out what we're going to do in life, where we're going to settle down at, where we want to put our pool, you know, all that stuff. You'll be the first to know. Oh, Moon God.
God, as you've been watching in the bushes for a while, it's okay to come out and talk to us. It's okay. Hey, we accept you. You're family now. You're in this chat. You're family now. You are more than welcome to come in and chat and talk to us. I want everybody to come in. Now, there is, um, like, I like to watch a couple channels, and I'll watch in the background. I, I Sometimes I'll come in and say, hey, but I don't want to really make a big a stank about, hey, I'm in here. And then everybody in the chat is saying, hey, Gina, hey, Gina, hey, Gina. And then it takes away from, I, I don't want to feel like I'm taken away from their chat. So I'll just watch in the background and I'll enjoy it. But I may sometimes say hello, but then there's like a whole lot of people that's like, you know, then you got to say, hey, so-and-so, hey, so-and-so, hey, so-and-so, hey, hi. You know, so I like to say like, um, Hello for anybody that spoke to me. Hi, you know, I just really wanted to say hello to the people that's doing the chat, you know. Um, but I, I would rather, I rather like to watch in the background so I don't feel like I'm disturbing, you know, anybody's life. But I appreciate having you in here. I'm just talking about because I'm a YouTuber, you know. Welcome Brandy Hill. Oh, thank you, Kate Coffee. Like I said, every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll say hello to them, but I, I like watching in the background, and I enjoy it just as much. Brandy, how you doing? Welcome. Oh, you're going to Cedar Point. How nice. Oh, Alan, you always doing something. So you got Cedar Point on the 7th, and then on the 12th, you got the bonfire or your dad's cooking on the grill <laughs> you guys are getting down alan yes alan absolutely enjoy your summer like jackie said <laughs> Gina, how do you address people with bad breath? Oh my goodness, that that right there is something else. If it's a loved one, you may want to tell them that they can go to a doctor. No, you ain't going to get me doing this, my holy king. I ain't about to do it right now. Uh-uh, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it, my holy king. I ain't, you ain't getting me up in that trap, up in that snare of yours. Cha-Cha is laughing right now. <laughs> Don't you do it. Uh -uh, I was going to answer you too. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Mary is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're a big boss. <laughs> don't y'all do this. I'm not going to do it. I don't think I can answer your question, my holy king. But there is some suggestions, but I ain't giving them to you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that right now. <laughs> it could be dental related. <laughs> Nah. Offer them a cup of scope. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> My goodness. Y'all are too funny. You know you are. <laughs> so now you know that you two can make, go ahead and cover that cake up, okay? We can have some later. So now, oh, let me, so now you know that you two can make a delicious cake, even if it's box cake mix, you can bump that baby up and make it taste absolutely delicious and make it moist as this cake. This cake, when I, no, don't put it in the fridge. 
We're going to keep it on the counter. Just cover it. Um, this cake, it turned out so moist, so supple, and delicious. I know you'll enjoy the recipe. And you wasn't in the kitchen all day. If you make it homemade, that's great. A homemade cake is great, right? I agree. But what if you ain't got time for it? If you ain't got time for it, you bump the cake mix up. It's gonna be delicious regardless. Oh, if it's a stranger, uh, Jared. <laughs> Y'all sup, Mouse? Uh, Audrey, how you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. So I'm glad you all enjoyed your evening. Deep River Water Park. I've never heard of it. I feel like, wait a minute, Alan. I may have heard of that. I may have heard of that, Alan. Alan, you are just really doing it up this summer. How interesting. Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed your evening. I'm going to get off of here. I have an important call. I have a call that's going to be coming through. <clears throat> I see my husband tell the person on my phone that I'm going to be, he's going to be coming to me so we can catch this call. So uh, I'm going to get ready to get off, but it's never goodbye, y'all. I want y'all to come back on Sunday. All the new people, come back in on, on Saturday. We're going to have such a great time. Now, for the new people, Saturday's live will be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're making your favorite salad, okay? So whatever you like in a salad, get your ingredients ready. We'll eat salad together, and then we'll chit-chat for a while. It should be so much fun. And then I'm going to show you how to blacken up some chicken. If you want to cut that chicken and put it on your fresh salad, it would be great, right? So I can't wait to see y'all on Saturday. Now, tomorrow you'll see me back in the kitchen. You know I'm going to be back in the kitchen. I'm going to give you some great recipes and maybe even another recipe for the Healthy Channel. I love you all. I'm going to get off of here so I can catch this phone call, okay? So me and my husband and the other person are all going to be on the call together, okay? I love you. I can't wait to see you Saturday, okay? Yes, I love you guys. Grilled chicken on a salad. Cindy, you got it. We can do it. Bye, everyone. I love you. Thank you to my beautiful um, uh, moderators, Mildred, Sonia, and Ron. All of my supporters, everybody in this chat, I love you guys. I appreciate you. To the new subscribers, welcome. God bless. Thank you. <laughs> and the frog. <laughs> God bless. Thank y'all for coming in. I'll see you Saturday, okay? We're going to have a good time. Good night. See ya.